Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So I am finally ready to do the flip through of these for soft cover journals. It's been so fun making these. So super easy how to make the covers and they just turn out so beautiful once you add the fabric. Um, and it's been so cool to take you along the journey a bit more with these journals. Um, all because of you guys requesting it in the thousand subscriber uh, request video <laughs> that I did. Um, a lot of you said that you wanted to see more of my process of how I make journals and even start to finish journals and I didn't really do a start to finish but I showed you how I made the cover and how I kind of pre-embellish before I bind it with the sewing and then I did I managed to do two process videos of and then adding journal cards and tags and embellishing like that so I kind of did it in stages and hope that was good for you guys to see um, and now they are done so really happy with these oh so excited um and they did get a bit color themed so this is more purple this is blue well this is more rainbow but i did a turquoise binding because of the bird with the turquoise in it and turquoise seam binding and then this one has i picked up the green in the bird so i've got a green binding and a green seam binding closure. <laughs> I'm saying binding a lot aren't I? Alright so they all have um, a butterfly charm. I managed to find four butterfly charms and they all have a key. Hey Keanu, can to say hello? Okay hang on honey. I'm not going to be able to let you stay up here because... hang on one second guys. He likes to play with the closures. So they all have a key as well. The keys are all different, but I had four keys, so I put those charms on it. So they all have the lace, but it's all different uh, colours and styles depending on the journal. So anyway, that's the cover of this one, and yeah, I'll link below the tutorial for the soft cover journals if anyone's interested. Interested? Super, super easy. Okay, here we go. So. <laughs> They are using the gnome books in these and this one has a bit of a green, more of a green theme and a hummingbird theme or just a bird theme in general. So look at this, I love choosing the front and back covers and the middle page, just my favourite images and I wanted to make it kind of look like a book so there's a front cover of one of the books and yeah, I'm going to try not to make this video too long, but just a whole bunch of different birds from the gnome books are in here. And I've got this lace that is kind of shimmery, and it shimmers, shimmers <laughs> green. I'm not sure if you can see that picking up the light. So that's why I chose that green lace. Did a bunch of stamping in this journal, so you'll see that throughout. And then... Okay, I just stuffed them full of like um, journal cards, tags, and different things, but they're slightly different. Some have more paper clipped items in there, whereas others have more sewing fabric in there and just all different kind of things. So I'll try and do this pretty quick though. I won't take absolutely everything out. I used every single card that I printed out from the Taylor Made Journals Vintage Butterflies Digital Kit. So I'll link that link below to her Etsy where you can find these. Um, digital kits as well and then just some fun random things so like tags and there's a, a duck picture <laughs> um, I love these large pockets and I've experimented for the first time using a corner hole punch around these parts and then a circle half circle punch there with these large tags as well so it's kind of fun I really like it so yeah I'll just there's also some Tim Holtz um, journal cards in here, so, so pretty with that nature theme. So birds, butterflies, flowers, all kind of a unique, um, unique, <laughs> a um, general theme over the whole four journals. So also use some of this gorgeous lace as well with the butterfly charm there. Love the handwriting type of font and has a card that opens out. Pocket pages. I've used quite a lot of my journal cards in here, so just garden scenes 
um, where I can picture little gnomes living. <laughs> so more birds, butterfly stamp, and more of these cards. I seriously love these. They're so beautiful. Another tag in the tuck. Awesome bird here. And then this is just a glassine envelope. More journaling space. This stamping here with that script stamp. Oh, I'm so excited. This is pretty cool. So not all of them have this, but it's like a flip out with lots of writing space in here, or secret writing space. And then just a little tuck spot underneath. Isn't that beautiful, that card? I love that card. <sighs> I was hoarding these for myself, but you know, <laughs> let's just share it around. <laughs> Butterfly. Love this kind of little uh, tuck spot here using the napkin. More little elements. One of my embellished paper clips and more tags and cards. Here, oh, I've got a bit of a project share coming up in a different video of how I did these. So cool, shaker bag with the flowers in there. I love it. They've all got one of those. That's so cool. And I've got a tutorial coming up as well of how to do this pocket with one here, one here. Look at that. That's so cool because it's a bird theme. I put a bird feeder in it. <laughs> And a pocket here. And one very, very large pocket behind. <laughs> With the Tim Holtz card. So lovely. Alright, and then here's the middle page. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I love it. And the feathers, so cool. And glassine bag here. And a little tuck spot. This is extra journaling space that folds out with the flowers. Stamping. I love that stamp. It's so pretty. More elements. And I love this one. This is so cool. I think this is the only one that I did with lots of stuff in it. But tag here, journal card there, and a little tag there. <laughs> I love that. I should have done that with all of them, but I put I just had the same kind of amount of things and put them in the journals in different ways. So that one ended up having three items in it. <laughs> this bag is so cute and I love these journal cards here. So there's a tuck there, a tuck here where it opens out like a bag, proper bag, gusseted. And then there's a tuck behind with more elements here. I really love these. These are cute. So I just turn those into journal cards too with sewing and coffee dyed paper on the back. Really cute. And here is the key. <laughs> I put it through both, did I? That's hilarious. Hang on a second. <laughs> on the ball pins. Stamping. More another embellished paper clip and some more elements here. Bird on the scrapbook paper, which is pretty cool. Butterfly, one of my napkin envelopes with a journal card inside. Isn't that arch beautiful? So pretty. I always love the ones with wisteria. Oh, that's stunning. If I have a garden, I would want that. <laughs> and then just more elements behind. So, so pretty. I love those butterflies. Here's the hummingbird again. Another large pocket and tag. And well, those those strings are long, aren't they? Those threads, but I like I kind of like it, <laughs> leaving the threads. And then more elements here. Large butterfly stamp. And more pieces here. Love it. It's like a duck pond or a fish pond. Same with this one with the lilies, water lilies. Another embellished paper clip. I think this is the only one that has multiple embellished paper clips. And this one has another journal card inside here and the bird postcard that you can colour in or leave. 
So I sewed these corner pockets up there too. <laughs> Bit of stamping there. Organza bag, so pretty with the sheer that you can see it through. I love that with the butterflies. Another journal card at the back behind it. One of my scrap clusters and another Tim Holtz card here. Birds. And another embellished paper clip and more elements. And I love doing this. This is so fun. Oh, so you just put a little piece behind the window or in the window. It is so cool. I love it. It looks so cool. It's one of my favorite things to do. And then the hummingbirds on the back as well. So that is, I'm going to call this green hummingbird green hummingbird and let's do I'm gonna go quicker I won't pull everything out this time because you've seen what it kind of all looks like same sort of journaling cards throughout I'm gonna call this one turquoise hummingbird I hope that doesn't get too confusing but anyway turquoise hummingbird all right so it's also got a bird theme a bit in it but more nature and blues and I don't know <laughs> so pretty the blue bird of paradise I'm gonna put that in my journal that doesn't matter. <laughs> Lots of pretty images. So I think I'll just, yeah, go quick. <laughs> and you can see, oh, but I just want to pull everything out. Like, look at that. So cool. Oh, <laughs> I love these scrap of papers. Um, and the birds. Oh, the, and the butterflies. Aren't they pretty? And I tried to put, like, the similar ones here. <laughs> that the same kind of colours. And I put this red one here to pick up the reddy tones in those butterfly wings so pretty and same here I try to kind of parallel them <laughs> so because there's a butterfly on the front I did include more butterfly actual pages in this journal oh, so pretty this one has one of these flips so it goes up and then there's a tuck spot behind here with oh there's two <laughs> All right. No, I really, I just got to, and oh, there's dragonflies in here too. I chose some dragonflies because there's dragonfly on the cover as well. <laughs> See, that's, the cover shows me what to include in the journal. All right, oh, this is so cute. I love it, the birds. Oh, and I love this stamp with the butterflies and the pockets. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're just so cute. I really, really enjoyed making these journals. And the critters, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, the little rabbit. So adorable on oh, the dragonflies. And oh, here's that one. So, so cute. Because this is more the rainbow one. It was like, it's got the rainbow um, trims to go with all the different colours. The back cover shows more of the colours actually. But I'm going to call them based on the binding and the seam binding closures, what colour journal they are. So look at that, it's so cool. I love it. Oh, so it's the first time doing that as well. So I always like to do new things in journals each time. And oh, I love this. Look at those feathers and the blue and the blue. <laughs> I love how it kind of matches as well. So cool. And they all have one of these, I'm pretty sure. Tag element there in the pocket oh and there's the look at the key the keys are all different so I better show you those and I'm not sure if you even saw that that's so pretty and this one it goes across like that for extra drilling space tuck spot behind and I really love that paper that that color is so pretty more elements in here and I love this one with that blue bird and the butterfly and just more kind of elements in there. <laughs> Look at those beautiful feathers. More elements here. Dragonflies. Large pockets and another journal card. Oh dear. Love that stamp. So pretty. There's the glassine bag. 
more tags. There's a whole bunch here, three. So see, I could have divvied this up and put it into that envelope pocket, but I would just put it all here with a paper clip. <laughs> Same here, there's two elements here. And then here's that pocket here. Oh, sorry, just knock the camera. More Tim Holtz cards and things. Love this paper. Oh, so pretty. And at the back, so we've got another blue bed at the back too. So, so pretty. All right, turquoise hummingbird. Let's get on to uh, blue flower. Let's call it blue floral or something. <laughs> okay, so the next two are more the florals. So I'm going to call these blue flower, purple flower, turquoise hummingbird, green hummingbird. <laughs> so I just love it. All right, I'm going to go a bit quicker since you get the gist now. So pretty. Ah, so yeah, a lot more blue in this one. I chose the cards that had blue butterflies this time. So cute critter. Oop, aren't they beautiful? That colour is striking. This one has some feathers in this fabric side pocket. And just really pretty, pretty ugh, I can't speak. Really pretty papers and journaling cards and um, let's go that way. <laughs> and scrapbook papers too. So they all have scrapbook papers in them to go with the colour theme. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> oh, I love it all. These are some of my favourites I've made so far. I think they were just so, so fun. Oh. <laughs> and this one, that flip, I love it. This is the only one that has this flip. It's always cool because it's blue and oh, I love it. <laughs> Journaling card. Cards in there, three of them. <laughs> More journaling cards in here. So pretty. Tag. Oh, love it peeking through. Oh, so pretty. The mushroom and the berries and the flowers and the handwriting. Oh, gorgeous. And then, yeah, oh, you know, <laughs> it's the same thing, kind of things. No journal cards, though, are exactly alike or tags. Love that middle page just because there's, there's the blue flowers and I love glass jars or glass bottles. I just love it so much. And here's the little one here, the little shaker bag. The blue flowers, so pretty. Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? So pretty. Okay, I keep saying that a lot. <laughs> Bye. I love it. Oh, get rid of that one. <laughs> I love this journal card as well. It's scrapbook paper, but I just turn it into a journal card. With the birds. I love this card here. It's so nice. <gasps> Look at that. It's one of my favourites. So I'm going to print that out and put that in my journal. Another piece behind. Oh, the page is just so gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's like a surprise because I, even I don't know what's behind there. It's like, I wonder what's behind there. Because I forget <laughs> you know, when you go through everything. My favourite lace, by the way, that blue one. And I've used the last of it in these journals as well. Love this one. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> and this is a, another fabric pocket. Oh, hang on. I said I wasn't going to pull everything out. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Love it. Oh, so gorgeous. Badge paper clip in the pocket. More tags and things in here. I love how this paper has faint script writing on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. So it's got a vintage look to it as well. Vintage blue nature botanical. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Alright, there's the blue floral. Last, but not least, <laughs> the purple floral. 
And as I was putting these bindings on, it, they went longer and longer each time. So <laughs> the green one has the shortest one, and then as I kept making them, this is the order I did them, they just get longer and longer, and I actually really like them long. It's really cool. All right, beautiful cover. Same as that other one, actually, that you would have seen, my very first gnome journal. Just such pretty images. I love them. Rabbit and the bird, stamping. This is the purple kind of scrapbook paper. Purple and green I went for in this journal. Oh, look at the little rabbit. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> so I'm really glad I made these because if you saw the flip through of the first gnome journal, you heard me say that I wasn't sure if I'd make any more. But then I made these covers and they just, I wasn't sure how I'd fill them. But look at that pocket, isn't that gorgeous? Using that same material. Um, the covers, when, when I have the covers, it just inspires me and tells me what I'm going to make. Love it. And they became nature gnome journals as well. Oh, isn't that stunning? <laughs> I really like that embellishment. There's the middle page just with the nature theme. It's so pretty. All right, I've got to go quick. I can hear my kitty meowing out there. I've, I've put him in the other room because he would just play with these. <laughs> so I will, I'll finish so I can go, go to him. Uh, oh, and it's got a pink, purple, and blue lace ha theme happening on the spine. Oh, sorry, on the edges of the pages because I went for the pink, purple, and blue flowers. And that's what told me what color laces to have. But the binding is... Um, and the closure is purple, so it's got the purple scrapbook papers and... I don't know, I, these are all little details that I really love to work on and like, it's all very thought out. So I went through this two at the same time again. And I didn't show you the keys, did I? But this is the key of this one. And yeah, things like details, like the purple bowl pins to go with the purple. I didn't have green for the other one, but because it was the black um, lace, I did black. There's the bowl pin on that one. I mean, not the bowl pin. The key. Really pretty. Blue bowl pins for that one. Your white for the rainbow one, because I didn't have any turquoise pins for that either. So just white to go with, you know, it's really, really colourful lace. So just something neutral. And... Oh, the purple and blue butterflies. They're so pretty. Journal card. Things out here again. Oh, so fun. That's a nice one too. I like that. And like reading these, it's kind of fun too if you want to read the page, actually read the pages. I mean, you can cover them all up, but. Some of the things that they say, it's really interesting, um, little experiments, things to do, crafty things, sciencey things, looking after nature, looking after animals, it's really kind of sweet. Like how to press flowers, so it's quite interesting and, and fun what's on it. Like, And look at these, who would cover these up, seriously? <laughs> like I just see that as the decoration for the page, it's all so beautiful. Another pocket here, <laughs> with a few different elements in here, oh look at that, that's pretty. All right, there we go. Look at that, it's stunning. So that is my collection of um, soft cover journals, and I I just really loved making them. They were so fun, and um, yeah, <laughs> it was quite a journey working on these because you know there's four, so it takes quite a bit of time and. Um, it was you kind of go on a journey when you make a journal. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you do if you make them, but it's quite a fun creative journey, creative process, and it's kind of a bit sad to say goodbye to the the process, the journey. But I'm gonna look forward to making the new ones. Actually, I have started making new ones. I made nine Daphne's diary journals yesterday, so. <laughs> So yeah, saying goodbye to this chapter. Oh, my little kitty's meowing. All right, I'm gonna say bye, but um. The links to Willow Band Journals will be below and these will be available if anyone is interested and I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think, let me know if you have a favourite and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!